everybody, it's Leroy from Leroy Gaming with another Lost Ark video. And today, since the queues are ridiculous on my main server, I thought I'd hop on a new server to show you some UI settings tips that are going to help you perform better and also have a better overall experience. So if you end up liking these tips and you find them helpful, make sure to drop a like. And if you have any other questions, make sure to drop a comment below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with one combat related tip that i found extremely helpful and this is especially useful for um range characters so again because i can't play on my main server right now i just created a new character to show you on the low test zone and so the setting i'm talking about here is going to be very specific to how the game handles targeting so if you go under the settings and then go under gameplay and control and display you want to scroll down down here to where it says cursor aim and if you mouse over, it says when a cursor is positioned on top of a foe, your target direction will be corrected towards the target. Now, this may sound like something that's helpful. And in some cases, it may be. But in range classes especially, I found that this can be a bit problematic. Let me show you what we're talking about here. So I'm summoning some monsters. And I've got a class here that has these abilities like the arrow wave, where you want to kind of, you want to target them down the center the, the problem is when you get groups of mobs like this sometimes when you try and target it's going to off aim your shot just slight so you would theoretically want it right down the center but it'll go slightly off center and a lot of times what it does so like right there you saw i aimed down the center and it actually targeted the dog that was on the right hand side so let me show you what's going to happen when we swap this I'm going to go under settings and we're going to control display again and we're going to turn off cursor aim all right so now at this point it's going to go exactly where i tell it to so there we go i line it up and it goes exactly down the center so now again we have a big group like this i want to aim down the center there we go i just literally make it so much easier since my whole goal is to line up the enemies and get as many of them targeted as possible and it just makes it so much easier the auto lock on again if you're playing with a controller for example maybe can be helpful but here this just guarantees that it's going to shoot exactly where you're aiming so if you're skilled at aim shots or you're playing a class that really benefits from that accurate aiming well this is a setting that is a must for you all right, now let's talk about some UI manipulations that are going to be key. We're going to start with the minimap overlay. So if you hit tab, you're going to notice right off the bat, the minimap pops up and it's in probably one of the worst spaces possible right down in the center. Now there are two things right off the bat that I want to show. First are transparency settings. So this can be a little out of the way to find. If you look in the upper right hand corner here, there's a little sundial thing and you can change how see through this is. So you're going to want to find a level that is comfortable for you. I kind of like it kind of like this, where you can still see the layout of the area, but you can see the background as well. And then the second thing to do here is knowing how to actually move the overlay, which is critical. So if you hold your middle mouse button, you can move it over. And what I like to do to, is to move it to the side out of the way. So my main gameplay area is open, but I can still see where I'm going. So this is a tip that's very, very big, very, very helpful. And now you're going to be good to go. Now, final little tip with the overlay. When you do get to the point where you're at any time in an area where there are teleport nodes, you can always hold Alt and then left click on the overlay. And you can actually teleport from here. You don't have to go to the main map to do that or go to the mini map either. Because obviously the mini map doesn't show you nearly as much here as the overlay does. So those are three very quick manipulations to the overlay for the mini map that should be very helpful as far as saving time and navigating, navigating the world easier. Now let's talk about the cursor. And they have a couple of settings here that are really useful as far as accessibility. Part of it is to help people that are colorblind. But for other people, the reality is this game gets really, really hectic with special effects. And sometimes it's kind of hard to see your cursor. So there are two things I want to share with you here. Number one, the first thing we want to do here is if you hold control, 
down and then move your mouse wheel up or down you're going to notice it changes the style of your cursor so depending what you find the easiest to see or the less least distracting if you find it distracting for whatever reason this lets you change the setting i kind of like this little red one this is the format i prefer i can see it really nice but also depending on your screen size how good your eyes are you can also go change how big the cursor is so if you go to settings and then go under accessibility you're going to notice here's this cursor mouse cursor size there's normal there's large so let's take a look what large looks like this is large quite a bit better for a lot of people and then there's also very large which may be slightly overkill the largest so there you go now you have a giant cursor but again for some people you might find this helpful so just find a size that is right for you all right the next tip is going to be especially helpful for anybody that doesn't have a widescreen monitor because this is going to be a way to where you can get more real estate left to right that you're going to be able to see so when you're going to be in raid encounters dungeon encounters when you want to see more of the area more about enemies coming at you etc this can be helpful so if you go under settings again this time we want to go under video settings and you can actually click force 21 9 aspect ratio so this is basically creating widescreen mode so take a look at how much i'm seeing here now and when you click this and you hit apply all of a sudden you can see way more of the world it almost it basically simulates a zoomed out perspective now you have these kind of ugly bars in the bottom and top a lot of people that are competitive they swear by this if they don't have a widescreen monitor it's up to you whether you want to make this adjustment or not but it is something that can be quite helpful now speaking of cleaning up the ui on top of the tip tip that i taught you about the overlay another thing you can do is you can remove certain parts of your ui to make your area that you're fighting and playing in much much more uh, visible and we're going to do this by holding alt and hitting x so what you're going to notice here is as you i hit alt and x it removed my mini map and the information that was on the upper left hand corner and then it removed more information uh some of it is being blocked right now uh by my camera here but it would be like the chat windows etc and if you do it one more time it removes your hot bars so depending on how much space you want to save this can really really help out so some advanced players they may even for example they'll memorize their hotkey rotations they may even remove this bottom area although that it can be a little risky uh but uh if you're extreme and you need that extra space you can have that so that is something that is definitely helpful as far as giving you even better visibility now if you are going to be doing things in order to give yourself better visibility and you're somebody that kind of learns your buttons and your cooldowns and you, you're not going to be looking down at the bottom of your screen to look at your health and uh, mainly your health, then you're going to want to make sure you change the next setting I'm going to talk about. And this setting is going to make it so that you have a health bar above the top of your head so that you kind of know when you're in trouble. You don't have to be looking down and getting distracted all the time. So again, if you go under settings and go under gameplay, control and display, right here under show hit point bars, for whatever reason they have everybody by default on except for yourself hit apply and there you go now you have that health bar that's huge so even if i go and delete all of my uh, interface except for the last one you're going to be able to see it now do note if you go all the way down this is mainly for like taking pictures and screenshots i believe so this can help out with that but for all the other settings all text settings you can still have that and so now again you're not having to look down for your health and you can pay attention to what's going around your character now the final tip i want to give you has to do with voice chat settings so when you play in a group especially you have options to turn on voice chat and this game defaults to always on which if you have ever played with voice chat on in the past with people it can be a little annoying so i mean it, because you're going to pick up everything your conversations with your loved ones maybe your your dog barking in the background so what i do recommend is if you go into settings and you go under audio scroll down just a little bit here uh, and you're going to see right here voice chat options voice input mode is always on i recommend unless you have a very quiet environment or you're playing in a situation that's very controlled um 
push to talk is really good. You can also go under your controls um, and adjust what your push to talk button is on. And then, of course, if you do use voice chat on a regular basis, you can even do your auto join voice chat here option to do that. So uh, that is something to keep in mind. But again, keep in mind this adjustment. You are going to start by always on, which could be a bit shocking if you're not prepared for that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those quick tips on the UI. Hopefully they'll help you perform better, see the game better, enjoy it a little bit more. If you did find them helpful, make sure to drop a like. And if you have any other questions for me, do drop them in the comments. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.